So now here with Christina Schieber at the end of this special edition of uh, Autos Here 260 about Porsche because uh, first I usually do one segment for a car but this is such a special car and so many things going on with Porsche that it deserves uh, probably more than one show. That's what I can get, <laughs> do now. <laughs> well, it's exciting times at Porsche for sure. Um, yeah. And being able to introduce the 918 Spider to individuals such as yourself is very exciting for us. And we make sure that we do it in a fashion where... It's exemplifying a consumer experience. So what is somebody who's buying a 918 Spider going to experience in going through that purchase process? Yeah. So we're here today at the Formula One racetrack in the United States, Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas, and we've closed down the track for the day. And this is gives you the rare opportunity to get behind the wheel, one alone, and drive yeah. all those fantastic modes in the car and feel the uh, up, amazing uh, performance. Two, to be with professional race car drivers that truly know how to rip mm -hmm. you around that track. And three, it's it's just it's all about the hand holding. It's the one on one experience that we're yeah. trying to deliver. And that car, I mean, for people fortunate enough to be able to buy that car, I mean, it's an important purchase. We're talking yes. about close to a million dollars, but more than that. Uh, it's like a lot of technology. So, like as you were saying, like all the experts from the the factory and like from from Porsche North America come here and explain everything to everybody who who is doing the program, right? Every touch point, every touch point is important for us to explain and exemplify to the ultimate end user, which yeah. is today it's you as a journalist understanding. Yeah. <laughs> But at the end of the day, it's our customer who really wants to know from the chief engineer, from a race car driver, because he's listening and looking for different mm -hmm. things from individuals like myself to understand, you know, what are you getting behind just owning a Porsche? Because yeah. it's not just owning a Porsche. You're stepping into a whole new lifestyle. Um, and that really treads what we're doing across the country is getting into more regional markets speaking with more people on a one-to-one -one level and helping them to truly understand beyond the performance, technology, um, and purest passion that people usually have for Porsche and understand mm -hmm. what the lifestyle is behind it. What does it mean for me to own a Porsche? Yeah. What are the other benefits that I get from being part of the Porsche family? Yeah, and those kind of things are changing because car manufacturers have, have been making cars for, for like a long time already. But this kind of interacting with other parts of, uh, of the company itself... Of other activities uh, and you, you you like this facility is great but also last week we were in miami or in bal harbor yeah uh, the sand ridge is a fabulous property also at the sony ericsson with maria sharapova the porsche global ambassador so there's a lot of things that come together when you like saying like experience in the it, porsche it's the it's the experiential side of things yeah. so why do we go to the saint regis well because it actually exemplifies a little bit more of who we are as a brand yeah. and we put that whole experience together so you can come and spend time and understand who we are, what we're doing, and enjoy yourself. The cars are amazing, yeah. but the life behind the cars is just yeah. as amazing. And they take you to a beautiful place. Yeah, we right? take you to beautiful places, exactly. But again, you know what we try to do is deliver the customer experience to you as a journalist so yeah. that you can exemplify that and help people to understand what it truly is to experience Porsche. Okay, talking about Porsche experience, uh, you're opening a couple of uh, new facilities here in North America. Which are going to be state of the art, exactly, and that that's going to be like the place where like people are going to be able to experience in that place everything about Porsche, right? Well, Porsche definitely wants to be a leader and and be the most aspirational brand in in the world. And um, in order to do that, one, we align ourselves with people like Maria Sharapova as a global brand ambassadors who truly get the car and the design and the life behind it. But we're also opening Porsche experience centers on both coasts. So yeah. on the East Coast, we're opening up what we call One Porsche Drive, which is our new um, North American headquarters, which will also have a test track facility. So here's where individuals wow. can come and again, have the touch point access with individuals who are the engineers, the marketers, the PR people behind the cars, and they can ask whatever they want and then feel the car in a performance track facility as well. So they can do their zero to 60s, but at the same time, they can learn how to fine tune their skill in driving a Porsche. And in Los Angeles, of course, um, we're opening a Porsche Experience Center there as well, which will be the house um, of not only our test facility, but our motorsports will be headquartered there. We have a human performance center. So if you want to talk about your athletic ability oh, and yeah. what you can do to enhance in yourself physically to become a better driver, we can do that for you as well. You should take Donovan McNabb and ask like, if, if drivers are real athletes and I, see how I, it goes. I tell you, you know, he's one of your first guests. He's one of our first guests, exactly. And 
or he should be one of our exactly. first guests, I'm saying. Um, but like even Patrick Long and Timo, you know, they'll be with yeah. us at these experience centers as we kick them off. But again, it's an opportunity for consumers to have one other touch point and access to Porsche and really just maximize their full customer ownership experience. And uh, you already had the Porsche Driving Academy in Birmingham, right? Uh, Correct. So what's going to happen to that? It's gonna That's going to stay there, absolutely. That serves a whole other purpose in terms of um, these are test facilities in the sense that we're not talking about high speed tracks like we're yeah. here at an F1 track yeah, today this is different. very different we want customers to understand capabilities of the car and how to fully use them but it's not a high speed it's not about going to high yeah, you're speed you're going to win a trophy there right although if you're driving we put the the straight right alongside the 405 oh that's so, <laughs> as you see cars that are you know on the side of the road even if you're going 120 miles an hour yeah. which is an extreme speed you're going to feel like you're going 160 you're going to make a lot of people envious <laughs> yeah probably for two, re for two reasons one, one the Porsche and two the speed <laughs> exactly so you know that that school has, is a very strong point for us and it will continue to do exactly what it's doing yeah and uh so um that facility, when are, what's the schedule for those? Well, the end of this year, wow. 2014, is when we're opening one Porsche Drive in Atlanta. And then uh, the Porsche Experience Center in Los Angeles will open in the first quarter of 2015. So we're uh, getting close. And, uh, and besides uh, experiencing the, 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 the tracks and all those kind of things, are this going to be like uh, delivery points where people can buy a car and then just take it there? Like in Europe, they do more. Like the Volkswagen Group in, in Wolfsburg, they have this, uh, the Autostad, which Porsche is now is part of it, yep. which is fantastic. So it's just more or less bringing that kind of thing. Absolutely. Also. Dealers will be able to do deliveries of cars at the performance centers, um, the experience centers, so they can you know truly enjoy the full-on experience of here's my car, what do I do, how do I do it best yeah. kind of a thing. Um, so, yes, that, that's going to be a strong point. And then there's going to be gourmet restaurants. And so after a long day on the wow. track, you can sit down and have a fabulous gourmet um, culinary experience as well. Like a Disneyland of cars, huh? Oh, my goodness. It's gonna, it really is going to be so beautiful. And there's going to be, even in Los Angeles, like a spectator hill. Yeah. Because... That's part of the joy of exactly. listening to cars. I mean, we're here today watching 918s rip around the track, 911 Turbo S's, and we're driving our Panamera SE hybrids. But to see it, too, is part of living it. Absolutely. Well, Christina, thank you very much again for your time, uh, both uh, last week in Miami and, and this week here in uh, Circuit of Americas in Austin. It's been a real pleasure, and uh, I mean, a lot of things. I see a lot of things coming for Porsche with the Macan. I, that's another another, another story. story. Maybe yeah. another uh, one-hour show. Absolutely. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to have you. You are just, you look at every little angle of every aspect of the cars and the programs, and you get it. So we appreciate you uh, well, being with us. Thank you very much, Cristina. Fantastic. Y con esta entrevista a Cristina Schieber, la responsable de Lifestyle, de estilo de vida de Porsche North America, estamos llegando al final de este show muy especial para la cobertura del Porsche 918 Spider que se realizó para Norteamérica aquí en el circuito de las Américas en Austin. Realmente un auto fabuloso, cuesta 845 mil dólares para comenzar y obviamente es un auto solamente para coleccionistas, de hecho Porsche solamente fabricará 918 unidades, de las cuales prácticamente ya todas están vendidas y las pocas que quedan seguramente no durarán mucho, un auto fabuloso. Y quiero agradecer a Nick Tework, a Cristina Schieber también del equipo de Relaciones Públicas de Porsche North America. También a Patrick Long y a Timo Clock, los uh, pilotos de la, la escudería Porsche. También a Peter Valdez Depena de CNNMoney.com. A Edgar Ferrara del Circuito de las Américas, quien nos recibió ahí la semana pasada. Y también tuvimos una entrevista con él sobre todo lo que está sucediendo en una de las mejores pistas de automovilismo en todo el mundo. Así que bueno... El Porsche 918 Spider desde el circuito de las Américas. Esto ha sido una edición especial. Los espero muy pronto. Ya se acerca el Auto Show de Nueva York y seguiremos viajando y trayéndoles todas las novedades que suceden en el mundo de los autos. Yo soy Javier Mota. Les recuerdo una vez más, me pueden seguir en Twitter, arroba Javier Mota. Y sobre todo, vayan al canal de YouTube, Autos Javier Mota, para que disfruten de todos los videos que realizamos ahí en el circuito de las Américas con el Porsche 918 Spider. Esto es Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.